Howdy y'all. Range report from the 44 contender. <clears throat> went out this weekend. We tested, uh, went out to test the new muzzle brake, uh, or the design of it anyway. We'd, uh, wanted to test it to see how it, how it would work and then possibly get this barrel threaded. Uh, I know I could probably do it myself, but I may get it done. Somebody that has a complete setup ready to go. It's easier to do sometimes. Anyway, uh, we went out to retest some of my loads or my out of my mold the uh, 230 or 432-230 semi wad cutter uh, last time I tried to run them the numbers just weren't right <clears throat> and I just I just stopped right after the first five it's like this ain't where it's supposed to be so <clears throat> we redid those and then we was going to shoot the uh, 192 grain M&P Pentas that uh, Vallejo sent me. We didn't make it to there. We got there. Uh, I took some of these with me. These are Lee uh, 214 semi wide cutters. And uh, they're a decent load. They're not great, but uh, I just wanted to test it to see if I was going to get any clipping with the muzzle brake. And uh, I couldn't hit nothing. So I pulled out my other loads that I know for my in this special 44 specials that I know were shooting one inch groups at 50 yards started trying to shoot those and I mean literally the targets look like somebody was shooting it with a double lot buckshot from a hundred yards they were just everywhere so okay so let me take the muzzle brake off and uh didn't help so I kept shooting and trying to get it to work and nothing would work. So finally I just uh, said well I'm going to go ahead and shoot my bullets and uh, uh, at least run them across the cronies to see if my, I got my numbers right this time and I did. I mean they're, they're real close to what uh, I worked up in in the Gordon's reloading tool <clears throat> and cross reference to the books too so but they all they were shooting good uh, primers were looking good they're a little warm they were, but they were getting right in there I didn't get to shoot the last last set that's when uh, another problem popped up. Hope we can see it in this. See that pin? It was all actually sticking out from this side, and it sheared off. It's part of it is stuck right there. So. Luckily, we didn't lose lose it enough to where I could open it up and and empty the empty it out. But we was dead in the tracks then. So they said the numbers were coming out good. Uh, let's see. Here's some of the some of these here. 
running, you know, around a thousand feet, some of them a little more. Uh, and then these, uh, lead 214s with with unique they were running up around 13 1350 yeah, somewhere in there so looked like a good consistent load then uh i switched to start shooting these and the very first one very first two Evidently, my uh, I had chronograph too close because all of the rest of these was shooting fine, even these magnums. But that's unique, and this 44 specials with the 2400, it was doing fine. But when I started shooting these 44 mags with the 2400 in it, <clears throat> first two shots, 37, 22. And then 29.11, I go, oh, something not right here. And I mean, you look at the cases, they were fine. I go, I oh, may be too close. So I had to move my chronograph out. And then I started getting good numbers. 14, 19, and 14.30, And then the uh, next, lo next load up was uh, pushing up around 14. 15 next low was pushing uh, right almost 1500 at 1484 to 1514 and then the last load I got to test <clears throat> we was pushing on up there 1550 1560 70 this 1571 was the high so so anyway what happened I, I wasn't for sure but I go this scope has got to be broke it, it was doing too good before and the only thing I done was added the muzzle brake to it but once I took that muzzle brake off I should have been fine and I was probably fine with it on there this uh Hear that clack? That's the that's the lens. It's loose. Yep, the glass is loose in it. So the CNC star bit the dust pretty quick. So we're gonna be looking. Gonna have to save our money and get us a. I'd like to get that Burris. Is what I'd like to get the. I think it's the three to twelve. <clears throat> what I'd like to get for it so anyway yeah I got some range footage let me grab a target I don't know if we can get it all in there or not but yeah just a shotgun just everywhere brought them home <clears throat> but yeah we're dead in the water until we can get us the scope another scope and I don't know when that's gonna be so 44s are gonna be on the shelf for a while all right let me roll some range footage here and when it's over <clears throat> I'm not gonna show very much just a few show the muzzle brake uh, a couple of shots or with a muzzle brake with these uh, 214 uh, 44 mags with unique and some of it is the uh, 44 specials with my 432 230 bullet so we'll run a, just a few shots of that to let y'all see what was going on now may I'll throw a couple in here. When, when you see the, the muzzle breaks off, then that's these here running the, the 44 mags with the 2400 uh, with my 432-230. So we'll run some re f footage now, and thanks for watching.
64.